Dennis Ting has more with a Louisville company tonight that is now having to make some tough cuts in response to this. Many companies are dealing with the effects of the rising prices of lumber and here at Kentucky Hop Brown Pedal Boards, they say it's having a direct impact on their sales. I make pedal boards. If you have an effects pedal for a guitar player, they put their pedals on top of these boards. Kenny Marine started making pedal boards eight years ago after finding one in a Nashville music store that was out of his budget. My brain is going, I can do that. I mean, I'm a carpenter. I can do that. I can make that. I'm a musician. I, I know I can. I know I can do this. Kenny says business for Kentucky Hot Brown Pedal Boards started picking up after a few yeah, years, so and they even had good success during the pandemic. But this year, he noticed something different. They weren't going up as great, but then they started going down, and they've not really started coming back up yet. He says this is the first time he's seen his sales drop, and he says most of the blame is on the rising price of wood. Something last year that cost me $12, $14 is costing me $30, $35, $60 in some cases. The rising lumber prices have been driven by the limited supply caused by the closing and downsizing of sawmills during the early months of the coronavirus pandemic. Kenny says he's had to raise the prices of his products, which has probably led to falling sales. This destroys my soul to raise prices for folks because I'm a musician. I always call it, I'm a starving musician too. I understand, I get it. To cut costs, Kenny has temporarily stopped accepting sales through his website, which had been done through a third-party service. Instead, people can still call or order through Reverb, an online marketplace. And a lot of folks were worried that we were going out of business. It was like, no, we're not going out of business. We're just, we're trimming some of the fat off. He hopes this will all be temporary. Once the lumber prices drop, he says, so will his products prices. In Louisville, Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.